Here at RNA Scott, we hold the MAN Truck and Bus UK franchise for Gainsborough and the surrounding area. But we don't just service and repair trucks, we do cars as well. Our competitive car service and MOT packages start from as little as £99 and include parts, labour and VAT. But we're not just fanatical about vehicles, we are passionate about football too and are proud to sponsor Gainsborough Trinity. That's going to kill me. Oh. Good afternoon and welcome to the Martin & Co Arena for today's Evo Stick Northern Premier Division clash between Gainsborough Trinity and Workington. Gainsborough Trinity all in blue, Workington in red shirts, white shorts and red socks. And in goal for the visitors, number one, Aaron Taylor, two, Matt Douglas, three, Sam Smith, four, Joshua Calvert, five, Kyle May, six, Bradley Carroll, seven, Jordan Holt, 8, Noel Copperthwaite, 9, Jason Walker, 10, Samuel Joel, 11, Connor Tinian. On the bench for the Reds, Sean Patterson, Bradley Herbold, David Symington, Ellis Pearson and Lewis Casson. For the Blues, in goal, John Stewart, 2, Neil Austin, 3, Ben Gordon, 4, Shane Clark, 5, Yoan Evans, 6, Nathan Stainfield, 7, Alex Byrne, 8, Simon Russell, 9, Ashley Worsfold, 10, Damian Reeves, and 11 Alex Simmons. On the bench for the Blues, Jamie Turi, Joe Maguire, a welcome return for Liam King, John O'Margett and Elliot Wilson making up the substitutes for the Blues. Both teams gathered around the centre circle. An impeccably observed minutes applause. The Carlisle Street stand already sounding in good voice. As Shane Clark stands on the centre circle, the ball at his feet ready to get this game underway. Joined in the centre circle by Simon Russell, Trinity looking to get it straight on the front foot. Final checks conducted by Anthony Tankard. Starts with watch on his right hand, watch on his left. Quick thumbs up towards the assistant on the near side. And we're underway. Simon Russell out to Neil Austin at right back. And Austin strikes long down the channel. Looking for the left hand channel, but Workington first to the ball. Good head in from Yoan Evans winning the ball back for Trinity and back with Neil Austin who turns and goes back to John Stewart who slices his clearance back towards his own goal has to rush back and put the ball out for a corner the ball not travelling very nicely along the ground back to John Stewart completely messing up his clearance and almost resulting in an egg on the face moment for the goalkeeper a couple of months partnering Ashley Worsfold Trinity lining up in a 4-4-2 formation but Alex Byrne now looking to break down the right hand side looking to make himself half a yard to deliver from the right hand side his first effort is closed down by Sam Smith, but it's back with Byrne on the right-hand side. Byrne manages to dig across in to the back post. Great leap of the back post from Kyle May, just diverts the ball from the weight in Worsfold. On the Tinian. 
but Tinian's pulled forward, only finds the head of Evans, and Trinity are again able to come forward. Austin finds Reeves in space, Reeves with time to turn, can't quite find the ball, almost finds its way to Byrne. Reeves finding the feet of Byrne this time, right hand channel, working his way towards the byline, manages to deliver across into the box, Wurzfeldt up, returned back into the box from Simmons but cut out of a near pace. Better play there from Trinity, spotting the ball up. Byrne makes the early run, then fizzed in across the front of the six yard box. Half cleared, but only as far as Simon Russell on the edge of the 18 yard box. Russell keeps the ball and finds Ben Gordon, then gives him an option out on the left hand touchline. Neat turn away from Russell, finds Shane Clark. Clark keeps the ball moving to the right. Yoan Evans takes aim, T lets fly. Two, three yards over the bar. Ambitious effort from the centre back to keep the move going to the right. Hence Yoan Evans' ambitious effort from range. Aaron Taylor. His clearance is met by Stainfield, helped on by Wurz, Volta Reeves. And just as Reeves is pulling the trigger, he takes us all one from behind from the Workington centre back. Referee signalling for a corner. Alex Byrne signals and delivers right foot it in swinging towards the back post. Off the line from Yoan Evans' header. Fantastic block and another corner. Trinity's fourth corner in quick succession. Been seen this season when you were dominating a game you want to get on top you want to get a goal helped on at the near post by worst hold fired goalwards straight Yoan Evans finds the goalkeeper from six yards anywhere else on target that's in the back of the net Workington coming forward with Sam Joel on the left hand side just into the Trinity half finds Jason Walker Walker looking for options looking for support sets the fullback Sam Smith who turns it forward Evans strong in the challenge wins his header and finds Neil Austin Austin goes back to John Stewart better first touch but his clearance is closed down by Jason Walker and Stainfield back on defensive duty just about manages to put the ball out of play very nervy opening 16-17 minutes for John Stewart from the Gainsborough Trinity bench still goalless here you could be asking how there's been a couple of very near misses for Trinity, but Gainsborough definitely with the better chances in this one. Burn helps the ball on to Shane Clark on the right side. Cut back, finds Wurzfeld. Wurzfeld, goal! Well, hit the front. There's been chances at both ends, but on 19 minutes, Ash Wurzfeld, Trinity's top scorer, opens it for the Blues. Burns flick on, found Shane Clark. Shane Clark's cut back, brilliantly placed to Wurzfeld, who with power, was able to fire past Aaron Taylor and Trinity do have the lead. Games for Trinity 1, Workington 0. The goalkeeper who referee Mr Tankard seems to be on first name terms with. Taylor swings it to the right hand side, the Gainsborough left. Ben Gordon's underneath it and wins his first header and the second one. And the third one, finding Alex Simmons. Simmons with his back to goal, keeps the ball well and finds Yoan Evans. Evans goes back to John Stewart and Stewart clears first time. Helped on by Shane Clark into the path of Simon Russell. Russell, clever reverse ball, almost finds Wurzfold. Wurzfold can't take it with him, but it does fall kindly for Simmons on the left hand side. Simmons delivers left foot all the way through. Wurzfold as he's pulling the trigger goes to ground, but the offside flags up somehow. Reeves puts on enough pressure on Josh Calvert and Trinity win a throw in. Byrne quickly on with it, finds Neil Austin, and Austin turns the ball left foot it towards the area. Head it clear by Calvert. Helped on by Connatinian, Simon Russell back on the defensive, but he can't win the ball. And Sam Joel feeds in the ball for Bradley Carroll. Carroll left foot it. He's got support coming in the form of Jordan Holt. Hook cleared by Stainfield. But Workington enjoying a good spell of pressure. Noel Copperthwaite, low, low drive. Brings a save from John Stewart away to his left hand side. Good from the halfway line and it just comes straight back in towards the area. Breaking into the area. It's Josh Calvert, but cleared up towards halfway. Reeves catches a saw one on the back of his head, referee happy to play on. Shane Clark fires into a challenge. Play still continues, Workington coming forward. 
Workington inside, left foot strike, let fly by Connatinian, out the ground. Book. But referee's almost made back for himself with the way he just dealt with. But Copperthwaite delivers into the near post, headed away by Damien Reeves and by Shane Clark. Trinity still struggling to get the ball clear of the 18 yard box. Matt Douglas trying to get round the back on the right hand side. But well marshalled there at the far post by Nathan Stainfield and behind for a goal kick. And Trinity, three minutes before the break, with a very dangerous free kick to defend. Four men in the wall constructed by John Stewart. Jason Walker himself is over the free kick. He leaves it instead, leaving it for Connatinian. Connatinian, the vastly experienced left winger for Workington, steps up, left foot it, over the wall. John Stewart beaten away, flying full length save from John Stewart. Fantastic save. He's just made up for his earlier errors, but could have cost goals. But with 43 gone, Trinity are still in front, largely part down to. John Stewart's athleticism. Free corner kick comes in all the way across, scrambled in across goal. Trinity just getting men behind the ball, just managing to do enough to put the forward off and a goal kick to Trinity. And then Copperthwaite stand over the ball. Copperthwaite with slightly less hair than Tinian. Possibly favours the right footer more than the left footer. But both weight, hands on hips. Trinity defending the penalty spot. It is Tinian up and over the wall. Behind the goal, Trinity have looked very shaky at the back in this one so far. And we've seen the two sides of John Stewart. Very Jekyll and Hyde. Two fantastic saves from the big man. But a few very unlike in moments on the floor. Simmons doing well to keep the ball for Trinity. Shane Clark spraying the ball out to the right-hand side to Alex Byrne. Byrne delivers from the right-hand side. Reeves keeps it alive in the far post. Ben Gordon, yes! Ben Gordon's first for Trinity. Reeves is headed down, blocked en route, fell kindly for Ben Gordon and Ben Gordon made no mistake from eight yards out. Gains for Trinity two, Workington Town nil. 51 minutes gone. But it looks like it'll be the 16 year old Elliot Wilson getting stripped and ready for action. Had a very impressive cameo when he came on last week against Nantwich. Really put the opposition defence under pressure and he'll be looking to continue on in that same sort of form. The scores in some of the other games as John Stewart clears over halfway. Clark's ball forward, helped on by Reeves, finds Elliot Wilson. Wilson gets the ball out of his feet, fires goalwards, a couple of yards over the bar, but a sight of goal for the youngster. And on the left side of the midfield four, looking to join in wherever possible. Worsfold winning his headers, Damien Reeves, who's restored to the starting lineup. Also enjoying quite a positive game, but not winning free kicks from the referee at this moment in time, as Jordan Holt looks to get the ball out to Connor Good defending from Neil Austin and Shane Clark, but Noel Copperfate takes the ball off the toe of Shane Clark and keeps the move moving forward for Workington. Sam Smith back with Samuel Joel. Joel gets the ball out to the left-hand side to Connor Tinian. Tinian looking to get half a yard to deliver across, does so to the back post. Kept alive by Jordan Holt, but John Stewart gathers quickly and bowls out to Elliot Wilson. Wilson with a good ball down the line, into the feet of Ashley Worsfold. Worsfold going away from goal, draws a foul from Kyle May. John Stewart fires it long. Elliot Wilson helps it round the corner, finds Reeves. Tidied up there by Douglas, going back to his goalkeeper and his goalkeeper clears up to halfway. Worsfold does well, gets, brings it down, finds Byrne and Byrne plays it out to the right hand side to Worsfold. Worsfold's low effort, Takes the deflection, goes out to Elliot Wilson on the left-hand side. Elliot Wilson back into the area. 
rather fizzed at Alex Byrne. Falls tightly in the area for Simon Russell. Russell squares it. It's on to Shane Clark. Shane Clark just as he was about to pull the trigger. It falls kindly for Russell. Russell, 3 0. Queuing up there, five men in the box. It was Simon Russell, though, with the finishing touch to slot past Aaron Taylor to give Trinity a third. Gains for Trinity three, working to nil. Copperthwaite quickly getting things moving again. Samuel Joel on to Bradley Carroll and back with Copperthwaite who strides through the centre circle. Copperthwaite keeps travelling, he's got options on his right, finds Jordan Holt. Holt looking to go past Ben Gordon but Ben Gordon good defending finds Simon Russell and Russell finds Elliot Wilson with his back to goal. Rolls it down the line, read this time by Matty Douglas and Workington coming forward again. Copperthwaite keeps him kicking. Connor tries to play the ball in over the top. Stainfield underneath it. Falls kindly for Jason Walker. First time hit. Only half a yard over John Stewart's crossbar. Long clearance towards halfway from John Stewart. Workington still winning the first and second ball. Trinity standing strong defensively, but John Stewart has to beat away a fierce effort from the edge of the box from Copperthwaite. Ball still in play, return back into the area, Stainfield in right place to head clear. Shane Clark picking up the loose ball on the 18 yard box and finding Damien Reeves. Reeves and Byrne combined, Shane Clark now, clever play, releases Alex Byrne. Alex Byrne dances away from a challenge and feeds it out to Elliot Wilson on the left hand side. He's never offside as he drives half a yard over the bar. The Alex Byrne on set piece duty, 15 yards inside for Workington half. Low into the area, takes a touch off Reeves and Trinity managed to bundle it home. Ashley Worsfold with the second. He's won appealing for it. Workington guilty of statuesque defending there. Worsfold couldn't miss from six yards. Gains for Trinity 4, Workington 0. <laughs> Worsfold making way to be replaced by Liam King. So this is the little 10 minute run out for Liam King as he strives to get back to fitness following his back injury. Elliot Wilson also up top alongside him. Support from Simon Russell. Stewart goes out to the right hand side. Burns beaten to the ball, but good tracking back. Good foot in from Damien Reeves. Really firing in, Sam Smith fires into the challenge and finds Walker on the left hand side, looking to get the ball in on his right side. Manages to beat John Stewart as near post. Mute applause. He looked like he was miles offside as Sam Smith slid into the challenge. The flag wasn't up. He made the most of it, cut back in on his right hand side and comfortably beat John Stewart. Very little of a celebration, little more than a consolation goal. Workington won. With seven and a half still to play. Stainfield finds Ben Gordon at left back. Ben Gordon into Simon Russell. Again, Workington sensing as another challenge fires in, but Trinity work it out to the left hand side and find Elliot Wilson. Wilson looking to get at his full back. Step over, feeds it into Simon Russell, who continued his run. Elliot Wilson offering the option. Wilson keeps the ball. Simon Russell, clever play down the left. Swept in by Elliot Wilson. Scooped up in the air by Josh Calvert. Challenged by. For Damien Reeves, free kick given against Reeves for a foul on the goalkeeper. He's in the right place at the right time to bring the ball down and find Simon Russell in the centre circle. Referee thinks about bringing the game to an end but then let's play continue for a little bit longer as Russell works it out to Elliot Wilson on the left hand side. Another check of a watch from the referee as Liam King lets fly. Out of play for a goal kick. 
disappointing effort from a returning skipper, but that should be that. And with the scoreline against the Trinity 4, Workington 1. That should be that. Just waiting for the final whistle of Anthony Pankard, which is there. Trinity not always at the best this afternoon. A couple of let offs and a couple of scares in the first half. But going into the break, a goal to the good. Trinity then found their forward straps and hit three in the second half. Unfortunately, a clean sheet couldn't be recovered. Coming out of the game, 4-1 victors. Thanks for joining us. See you all again next week when we travel to Mickleover.